Hello again. In this lesson, we will learn about the call statement in Excel VBA. To call a subprocedure or use the defined function, you use the call statement. Usually, when writing a big and complex application in Excel VBA, you might need to have multiple modules, subprocedures, and custom functions, and have a main subprocedure to execute them all. You want to design your code like that because it's easier to read and debug. To get started, let's go ahead and insert the new module, which we will call Color. So let's go to the Insert menu in the toolbar, click on Module, and then here we are going to resize the module inside the code window. Then we are going to delete the default name added by Excel VBA so that we can add our custom name, which is going to be Color. Now, we will write some custom functions so that you can understand some of the things you can do with them. First, let's write a function to format cells. So here we're going to say function formatter. And then we're going to provide the parameter. So we're going to say my range as range. Then here, just hit enter. And now we're going to provide the code for the function. So we're going to say with my range and with. First, we're going to customize the background color of the cells. So here we're going to say interior dot color. This is going to be equal to RGB 05979. Then we're going to customize the font color. So we're going to say here font.color. This is going to be equal to VV white. And finally, we want this text to be center. So we're going to say horizontal alignment. This is going to be equal to Excel center. Now we're going to write a function to clear contents. So here we're going to say function cleaner. This function is going to take one parameter, it's going to be my range as range. Then here just hit enter. Now we're going to write the code for the function. So here we're going to say my range dot clear contents. And that'll do it. After this, we want to write a function to calculate the income tax. So here we're going to say function income tax calculator. This function is going to take two parameters. First is going to be my range as range. Then here we're going to say amount as double. And then here just hit enter. We're going to assume for this example that the income tax is unique for everybody. So here we're going to declare a constant. So we're going to say const std percentage as double. This is going to be equal to 0 0.285. Now here we're going to say my range. This is going to be equal to amount times STD percentage. And now we want to format this. So here we're going to say format between parentheses. Here we need to provide the type of format that we want for this scenario. So we're going to say currency. The last function we are going to write is a function to calculate tips. So here we're going to say function calculate tips. This function is going to take three parameters. First is going to be my range as range. Then here is going to be the amount. So we're going to say check amount as double. And then the tip as double as well. Then here just hit enter. Now here we are going to say my range. This is going to be equal to check amount. 
times tip. But we want to format this. We want this to be in currency format. So we're going to say here currency like this. Now we're going to add a new sub procedure and we will name it color. We will use this sub procedure to execute the program. So here we're going to say sub color and then just hit enter. First, we're going to add a text in range F1. So here we're going to say range F1. This is going to be equal to results, for example. It can be anything. We're going to say results. Then we want to format this. For that, we are going to call the formatter function. So here we're going to say call like this formatter. And then for matter takes one parameter. So it's going to be range F1. Now we're going to use the calculate tips function. So here we're going to say call calculate tips. And this takes two parameters, three parameters actually. First is going to be the range. So we want this to go to range F2. The second parameter is going to be the check amount, as you can see. So we are going to say that the check amount is $215. Now we need to provide the tip. The tip is going to be 10%. Uh, in this case, because we are not going to use it in Excel, but in VBA, we are not going to use percentages. What we need to do is provide the percentage result, which is going to be 0.1%, uh, 0 0.1, which is equivalent to 10%, actually. Let's use it again to understand it better. So we're going to call the function again, calculate tips. Again, this takes three parameters. First is going to be the range. So we're going to say here, range F3. Comma, and the program is going to tell us what is the next parameters. So as you can see here, in bold, we have check amount as double. So here we're going to provide the amount. We're going to say that the check amount is $150. Now it's asking us for the third parameter, which is the tip. So we're going to say here that the tip is going to be 20%. 20% is 0.2. Now we're going to call the income tax calculator function. So here we're going to say call income tax calculator. This takes two parameters. First is going to be the range, which is going to be F4, comma, and now it's going to ask for the second parameter. Here is telling us that amount as double is the second parameter. So in this case, we're going to say that the parameter will be range. So let's type it correctly here, range E4. Let's call it again to see the way it works. So here again, income tax calculator. It takes two parameters, first the range, it's going to go to F5. And now again, the amount. The amount is going to go to, it's going to be actually range E5. After this, we want to outfit the contents. So we're going to say sales entire column dot outfit. And then we're going to call the cleaner function. So here we're going to say call. Cleaner. Cleaner takes one parameter, which is going to be the range. So here we're going to say from F1 to F5. Let's go ahead and debug the code so that we can see the way it works. So let's press F8 on the keyboard. And then here first is going to add the uh, results text in F1. Now we're going to format it. This is going to go directly to the formatter function. As you can see, that is what it's doing. And now it's just executing the code. 
Now we are going to call the calculate tips function. So now we have the result. We're going to go again to the calculate tips function. We're going to get the result. Uh, now we're going to go to the income tax calculator. Now here we're going to get the results. Let's do the same again, income tax calculator. And now we're going to outfit the contents because we want to be able to see the results in Excel. Finally, we are going to clear the contents using the cleaner function like this. Notice that writing functions to use in Excel is a little bit different than writing functions to use in VBA. We review the two scenarios so that you can have a solid understanding about it. Custom functions are not limited to these scenarios as they depend on your requirements. I strongly suggest that you practice this as much as you can as this is a very advanced topic. In our next lesson, we will learn about how to protect your macros. See you next time.